Oh yeah, uh, exactly 100 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> oh no, we have a fire. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more beam ng driving before this video begins if you haven't heard i'm having a little bit of a christmas giveaway yes one of you lucky people will win a copy of either wreckfest or beam ng drive of course and it's pretty imp pretty simple to enter the contest all you have to do is i'll have a link to my twitter in the description and probably the top of the comment section as well so all you have to do is go and follow me on twitter and like the pinned tweet that says something along the lines of like this tweet to enter and that's all you have to do guys if you would like to win one of those two games yeah go ahead and do that anyway let's get into the video shall we in today's video we're going to be checking out an awesome awesome map by the world famous ghost 187 he's the dude who's responsible for the ghost parquet the big parking garage thing and ghost debtor and a ton of other mods that are just awesome and uh, this one is called the BIHS Crash Test Hall, which stands for, what does it stand for? Uh, the Beeman G Institute of Highway Safety. So, it looks pretty official. This is what you'd be testing uh, new cars on. It's a real life place, only this is the Beeman G version of it. So, I'm excited. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Alrighty, so we're in, and right off the bat, I can already tell this is a very, very detailed map. And this is the Christmas edition. And uh, I guess this is going to be updated after Christmas, but right now, if you play this right now, you can see a Christmas tree complete with some presents in the back of the crash hall, which is just, just awesome. Look at the detail on this. That is very, very detailed texture work here. And, uh, oh, there's the tunnel of death. And here's where, what does it say? In memory, in memory of Tom99, is he, is he no longer with us? What does that mean? Is he dead? I need to know these things. If he is, rest in peace, my dude. You will be remembered. Anyway, let's go ahead and crash some cars, shall we? So what is this? Any Easter eggs here? Uh, danger test area. Stay clear when lights are flashing. Warning, crush and flying debris hazard. Hard hat and eye protection required beyond this point. So it seems pretty official, I must say. So we're going to go ahead and crash a good old D series. It seems like this has to be the first one to die. I mean, crash. Anyway, let's go ahead and do it. I wish there was like a little hook that could do it for us, but... Uh, then I wouldn't be really doing my job. I would just be commentating on it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead first. Actually, let's hit the left side of the truck. I feel like that's the more official way to do it. Anyway, here we go. It's- Oh! The lighting is beautiful. Oh no, we hit the camera! The slow-mo camera there. Uh-oh. That's okay. How's the truck looking? Uh, does it still drive? Not really. Not really. Uh, let's see if we can start it up again. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't start. We have killed the truck. Dang it. All right, so now we got to obviously do just a regular head-on collision at uh, how fast are we going? I think around 60 miles an hour or so. I'm going to try to keep it at around 60. There we go. 60, 60, 60. Good enough. Good enough. Here we go. 61 miles an hour. Close enough. Oh. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. Man, I really love the lighting. It really makes this game look... A lot better than it normally does, if we're being honest. But it looks like the uh, the place where they take the pictures for the thumbnails of the cars, if we're being completely honest. I, I want to say this car held up pretty well, but uh, the steering wheel is a little bit closer to your face, so you might have, and there's no uh, airbags in this game yet, so you might be hitting your face on that wheel, which may cause some problems. But anyway, let's go ahead and try one that is a newer vehicle something that should do very well in a crash scenario so how about the s series I th i'm i've been saying that this is probably the newest car in the fleet so let's go ahead and see if this has what it takes to be a very safe car in an accident so here we go and get up to speed we're gonna stay oh man this car's fast we're gonna do a 60 mile an hour crash here at least close to it there we go 60 beautiful and ooh, look at that it's so much better, man. That's why, uh, you know, it, when cars crash nowadays, it looks worse, but really it's a lot better because there's so much crumple zone, but it, it's kind of meant to just fall apart, but help protect you. And this is a really good, actually really good representation of that. I might, if you guys would like to see this, I might actually have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of Beam and G and real life crashes. Would you guys like to see that? Uh, if you do, if you'd like to leave a like down below.
All right, so now that we know this this thing is safe on its own, I kind of want to put another car at the end of the range here and just smash into the side of it. So we're going to actually duplicate that car. And uh, we're just going to put another one right here, and we're just going to run straight into the side of it and see if we can, like, squeeze it like a toothpaste tube. I don't know. Maybe I'm demented, but it just seems like it'll be a good test. Ho so for this one, let's actually use a white one so it we can actually see it a little bit better. It shows up very dark. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, that's the perfect place. Okay, so we're going to leave that right there. And here we go. What do you say we just go full speed? We just go crazy here. We should, we'll probably be at about 100 miles an hour or close to at 90. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Uh, exactly 100 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. We have a fire. Oh, no. Well, actually, this car looks like it's in pretty good shape considering it's a 100 mile an hour crash. It is a little bit on fire, but I think that might actually be from uh, the gas tank on this car, which just burst into flames. And you're probably not going to be okay, if we're being completely honest here. You're going to be 110% dead. But in this one, I think you might be okay. So, so you know, there, there's that, I guess. Alright, so, of course, now we have to do a head-on collision. So, I don't know how this accident would, would be occurring, but we're just going to have this one right here. And we're gonna we're gonna shorten this car quite a bit, I imagine. So we're gonna hit this thing at 100 miles an hour again, and see who comes out on top. I imagine nobody's gonna come out on top because this is gonna be a very very violent collision. But let's just do it anyway. Oh, <laughs> again, this car looks to be in a pretty good shape, and you know this one is not terrible. I think you might be okay if this thing did indeed have airbags, which I I, I assume it would. Since it's a newer car, they just are not in the game yet. But uh, the back end of this thing, completely ruined. It's it's a salvage title for sure. All right, so let's move this to the side a little bit. We're not gonna we're gonna bring this back in a little bit. This is the honorary t crash test car. But uh, for now, let's just go ahead and test some more vehicles. So I'm thinking maybe an older older car, which we actually have a, t a crash test version of somewhere around here. There it is, complete with a dummy. So now we can actually get some real world results here. As in like a guy on the inside, so we'll actually get to see how his body reacts I, I'm pretty sure his head's gonna go against the windshield. That's how he's gonna react But it'll still be fun to watch you know what I mean? So we're gonna hit that left side of the car and we're gonna go in a little bit more slow motion because I want to see every little every little smash in this one So here we go That's looking pretty good and we are going 62 miles an hour. So right about where I want it to be and There's our little guy in there the car deforms he flies forward and oh actually oh no where's he going wow i'm okay i'm a little bit flabbergasted i thought for sure he was gonna he was gonna bounce off the uh, windshield but he kind of just slumped down maybe it's because he has a seatbelt. he does have his seatbelt on so maybe we should do that again without the seatbelt, and uh we'll let gravity We'll let gravity take over from there. So if I can remember, I think you do it under here. Yes, there we go. Seatbelts empty. I don't want any dang seatbelts in my crash test. Now this, we might actually learn something about uh, safety today, ladies and gentlemen. Because it is very important to wear your seatbelt. Trust me, you don't want to end up like a dummy mixed dumpster. I don't know what kind of name that is. Anyway, you don't want to end up like this dude in this crash because I imagine this is going to be pretty insane. Okay, okay, slow down. Uh, you know, I'm honestly kind of surprised that BMG hasn't sold their software to, like, crash test companies. I feel like that could be a very useful feature to kind of get an idea of how, uh, how, how people would react in a collision. Anyway, here he goes. No seatbelt this time. Keep in mind. And, oh. <laughs> His face kind of, kind of morphed there, but he did stay in place as if he did have a seatbelt on. Not really sure what that's about, but, um, you know, we'll take it, I guess. You know, the physics do get a little bit weirder when you slow down, so let's just do this in real time here, and uh, try to keep an eye on our dummy there. So keep, keep all eyes on the dummy, and let's watch how he... <laughs> he slumps over. I'm pretty sure he did He did ricochet off the uh, the front dash and the windshield there. And he's he's more than likely dead. So yes, case in point, wear your seatbelts, kids. You'll 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 appreciate it. Trust me. All right. So next, obviously, we gotta go fast. We need something very very fast. In fact, I want to go at least 120 miles an hour. So uh, I feel like the ETK series is a pretty fast car. I feel like this can get up there 
pretty dang quick and it's also a newer car so we might not actually see too much devastation in this vehicle but still oh we are flying ladies and gentlemen come on push it push it why aren't you going 100 miles an hour you're kidding me you're slower than oh my god it actually ended up worse than that uh etk s series whatever it was good god man this thing just flattened itself okay we need a really really i want like a really fast car here so what do we have available to us i don't have all my mods installed because a lot of them just plain old stopped working so i guess the sbr4 is going to be the best bet the hill climb edition a very very fast car but it's also a race car so it has the uh, reinforcement the roll cage and such in here so we have to be kind of careful here oh this is quick oh this is quick okay 100 miles an hour 120 here we go yeah <laughs> bursts into flames i guess the gas tank is at the front of this car that would make sense since it's mid-engine oh god yeah that, that is a fiery mess uh, is there any is there any fire extinguishers is there even any people here? It's spooky without any people here. Is there anybody in the offices? What's out here? Nothing. Hmm. Very well crafted map though. If you like making a, like taking pictures in this game, I feel like this is probably a good bet. All right, so let's do that one again. Only I want to get a little bit of a different camera angle here. We're gonna go from up above. I want to get a, a down below. Oh God, that is really quick. Okay, slow down. And let's get above here. There we go. There we go. All right, so let's do this. Look at that it's beautiful it almost looks real sometimes here we go Ooh, it slinkies itself oh there's another big fireball oh it's beautiful all right so obviously we're gonna bring the car the crash test car out again because I, I we need to hit this thing at 120 miles an hour we're just gonna completely obliterate this car but it's gonna be worth it are you guys ready here we go we're doing this okay okay Okay, okay, you slow down, slow down just a tad. There we go, and let's go above. Beautiful, beautiful, here we go. And here she comes, here she comes, and <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. This one didn't catch on fire that time, but this one did. Oh, we have a blaze going, oh no. So how did, how did it end up? Um, not good good at all probably gonna need uh, quite a bit of force to rip this thing uh, off the wall here we need to grab the frame there we go 100% come on there we go and uh, what's the verdict does it still run it does still run not <laughs> really though what about this one we good here yeah we're good here it still runs just just barely though all right, so let's move this out of the way yet again because we're gonna go even faster and you know what that means we're gonna get a drag car up in here because of course we are it's uh the, it's the only the only logical thing left to do actually you know what let's go way back to a really old car uh like the burnside special is perfect for this so uh, if, you, if you haven't seen side by side uh comparisons of a really old vehicle crash test and new vehicle crash test it's it's like night and day I know a lot of people say, oh, they were built way stronger back then, but when it comes to a crash, these th these do not hold up. But um, let's see how it actually reacts in beam and G drive. Here we go at about 65 miles an hour. Yes. Actually held up pretty well. Honestly, a lot better than I thought it was. Um, in this game, at least, it, held, it holds up, you know, comparably with newer cars, but that's not the case in real life. These things just fold in on themselves big time, and you're... Basically, you got in a crash over 30 miles an hour in 1950, and you're you're a goner. But we do have a drag version of the Burnside, so we, of course, have to try this just because I just want to see it get absolutely obliterated. So I think we should have no problems re reaching around 150 miles an hour or so. Okay. Okay, just keep... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, did not know that was going to be a problem. Let's see how fast we can get her going here. 100. 100 and... Oh, God! Oh! We missed the mark. Car got flattened anyway. Oh, no. And I'm pretty sure... Does this have a roll cage? No, it does not have a roll cage. So you have a drag car without a roll cage. You basically want to die. <laughs> because if you crash this thing, you're an absolute goner. Well, here we go at 130. Oh. <laughs> and there goes a wheel. So should we put our, our crash test car up here and uh, take the full force of that impact i think we should so let's go ahead and put that right there there we go 
And let's do this again. Okay. This thing does not want to stay straight, that's for sure. There we go. Speed it up, speed it up. There we go. And 125. Oh. <laughs> that was a pretty clean collision, honestly. It pushed it, pinched it. That's what happened here. And it's, yeah, it's toothpaste. Toothpaste bottle, that's what it is. All right, so I'm pretty sure the fastest car we have available to us right now is the Moonhawk Drag, I believe. So, of course, we gotta do. I don't even know if they, they crash test actual drag cars in real life. It really doesn't make sense that they would need to. But we are not real life, we're neological, so we gotta try it out at least once, you know what I mean? Just to see what an impact at this speed would look like. So, here we go. God, oh my god, okay, 150 miles an hour, holy crap. Yeah, <laughs> it basically exploded. Here, let's try it again, try to get a real head-on collision here. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Oh, yes, holy crap, there went the doors, clean off. Woo! All right, so, let's go ahead and park this. We're gonna do a head-on collision here. Let's do this. See if we can get it to around 150 miles an hour. There we go. Come on. Looking good. Looking good. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> wow. They actually both held up. Okay, never mind. This one looks a little bit worse now, but the driver's seat looks to be intact a little bit. But uh, this one held up pretty nicely, I must say. Uh, but it does have the roll cage, so that might be a pretty big reason as to why. Alrighty, so what is left to test here? Well, hmm, we have we have so many options. I guess I could I could do the T series, of course. And should we do the drag one? No, we're gonna hold off on that. Uh, we'll do it in a minute. Trust me, I just want to see regular old T series. I'm pretty sure these have to be crash tested, so this could be a real thing. But uh, I don't even know how fast I can get this thing going by the end of the track. To be completely honest, maybe hopefully 50 or 60 miles an hour. But, uh, don't get your hopes up here. Look at the shadows bouncing all over the place. But yeah, this is a vehicle we don't get to crash test too often, so I'm kind of curious to see how it's actually going to react here. 50 miles an hour, not bad! Boom! And that's about what I expected. Still totaled, definitely, but it's definitely not as drastic as some of the other vehicles we've seen today. But there you go! A crashed T-Series. So now, of course, we gotta do the insane turbo version of this car. So let's actually move this a bit. Oh, move this a bit over. So we're lined up here. There we go. And let's go back to the selector here. Where is it? I could, I could never, I could never find these. Um, there it is. And let's use the regular drag. Uh, and we might break the game here. Not going to lie because, um, this thing is just insanely fast, but, um, do we break it? Oh, no. No. No! Okay, well, let's, let's just get going. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! No! Oh! <laughs> what is that? Modern art. Where's the rest of the, the rest of the car? I see pieces back here. Uh, yeah. There's the rest of the car. So, that's about what I expected. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of surprised the game didn't just crash completely but uh there we go that's what you get so <laughs> i think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode of bmng drive if you want to see more of the test crash testing uh facility here uh make sure to like this video down below and uh, if you have any ideas make sure to leave those in the comments uh as well and make sure to subscribe if you're not already and i'll talk to you guys in the next one oh, shit. whoops